What's up guys, Frank Macaluso here from Garageaholic. Today on episode eight of the E30 S62 Life After People, we are going to be doing three major things. One, the seatbelt for the driver's side. Two, the antenna mast. And number three, figuring out if that radiator switch actually fixed the overheating problem on this S62. Stand by. First, we're gonna do the seat belt. No big deal here, but I will tell you that these seat belt latches do have a problem over time and you can't really latch them in. Sometimes when I'm driving, it just unlatches itself and just kind of loosens up on me. Kind of a safety issue, so I wanted to replace that on the driver's side. And also the antenna. The antenna um, is a very problematic issue on these uh, E30s. Over time, the antenna masts, they gunk up and they seize and they either stay completely open, stay completely closed, or they're somewhere in between. So we're gonna replace this on the existing uh, antenna uh, mast assembly. So let's do that today and uh, then we'll take care of the overheating issue on the uh, radiator thermo switch. The antenna mast right there is located right inside of here, so, which means we have to remove that side panel, which isn't very difficult. We just have to remove some of the stuff, the head, the tail light cover, and that exposes it. And there's a couple of bolts we need to remove. So let's do that right now. Peeling back this sidewall reveals that there are two eight millimeters screws on the bottom and then one ground stud on the top. Then there's a white connector right there that needs to be removed. And the whole thing should basically pull down and go through that grommet. And that exposes and removes the motor so we can work on it on the bench. So this is the old antenna. Um, and it works, but it's you know it's getting old, and sometimes it does get bi it binds up. So let's uh, let's do a, a quick test here. This is your negative. Ah. All right. So you hook up your negative to this guy, and then you hook up both of these guys together. And then, moving over, then if you want to retract it, you just press. You just press just this one. And it's going down, you can see. See, so it works, but it's, it binds up and I want to replace it. And I also want to teach you how to replace it. So let's do that right now. So what I did was I removed the top cover, just basically prying off on all these little plastic tabs. Then these three rubber grommets are very important for spacing out the motor in, the, it's, in its actual uh, plastic casing, so that's also very important too. These two screws accompany this hold down plastic um, piece that goes over the, over the actual gear mechanism that basically holds the the antenna gear in place so that when it comes back down and back up it has it kind of feeds it into the gear set and that's important so you don't want to lose that and then I had to articulate the actual antenna just a tiny bit to remove this grommet here so that's the next thing that I need to do um, the new antenna that I bought has a black top but a chrome grommet I'm not a huge fan of the chrome grommet I'm gonna see I don't think that there's a way for me to remove it, so I might just have to live with it, which is fine, but, um, you know, that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of the way it's going to be. Oh, well. So let's remove this guy. So to do that, you got to basically push it all out. So you got to, like that. So it's pushing, and now it can't push anymore, and that's when you basically just yank. The whole thing, basically you're yanking it out, just like that, okay? 
So, I mean, the gear set on here was kind of stripped, but honestly, I wanted to replace it anyway. So there's the old piece, and obviously it doesn't come off, so that's garbage. Here's our new one, as you can see, right? And let's rearrange our, oh no. This guy goes in here like that. Okay. Now what we wanna do is we wanna fish this guy back in, making sure that the gears, as you're pushing it through, that the teeth are facing inward. Very important that the teeth are facing inward because the gears will then have something to hold on to. Having trouble, oh, there it is. See it poking through? Okay. So now you kinda wanna, let's see if I can maybe push this in like that. That, right? Okay. So let me tighten that down really quick, right here. And now let's give it some power and hope that it sucks it, sucks it in. All right. So while you're Pulling it while you're pulling it in, you want to give it the power. And it's sucking it right in there, just like that, right? Let's do that again. Okay, keep on going. Now let's feed this in like that. Screw this in. Okay. And we want to tighten this down. Just a little snug, nothing crazy, and we're done. Let's reassemble. Assembled, let's do a quick demonstration of how it works now. Remember, ground goes on your black wire, and then your connector with the red and the white wire, both of them need to be connected to power for it to extend, and then only the red wire gets connected when you want to retract. So let's connect both of these together. Stopped automatically. Now let's hook up just the red wire to positive. And it stopped. We're ready for reinstallation. So installation is reversive removal but I won't bore you with that. Alright, next is the seat belt. It's pretty simple to install. You just need to remove the seat, which is usually pretty simple. One bolt on the side of the seat to install the new seat belt. This guy, I'm looking forward to driving just so I can hear the click of the new seat belt. But this one is old, it's weathered, it's stuck. It looks like it's actually seized. It's kind of stuck in the lower position, so we're gonna have to pry it up with the seat belt to, in order to get it to, to latch properly, and even still, it's not reliable. So I need to replace that. Let's do that right now. First, I figured while I have the seat out, why not do some house cleaning and do a little vacuum? But all this is is just an easy replacement of the 17 millimeter bolt, just unscrew it, screw the new one in, hook it up, 
and you're done. This is a super simple installation, goes a long way for a hundred bucks and peace of mind. <laughs>